Okay, the time's come for us to talk about some of the logical constructs that we're going to be dealing with. And as we begin to interact and work with the system, we're going to find ourselves needing to employ the first logical construct that we're going to discuss, and that's going to be the idea of a policy. Now, the first policy that I'm going to discuss is an interface policy. Now, we are all probably familiar with the fact that I can normally come into a system. And what I can do is, say for instance, I'd go to interface Ethernet 1.1, and I can actually turn on CDP, turn off CDP, do configuration for port channels, virtual port channels, etc., etc. And what that actually boils down to is my ability to be able to assign the functionality or the characteristics of a given interface to include link speed, full duplex, and things along those lines. Now inside of policy-centric administrative mode inside of the ACI, we will employ policies and we're going to do this on a bottom-up approach. So first of all, what I would normally do is I would go to a switch, then on that switch I would actually go into configuration mode, access an interface, and then under that interface I'd apply the configuration. If I'm using policy, what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to use an interface policy to define the characteristics and the operations that I want to apply to an interface. That might be CDP on, it could be LLDP off, it could be link speed, 10 gig auto negotiate. These are all things that I'm going to configure inside of an interface policy in the ACI. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take those individual policies and then I'm going to aggregate them. I'm going to create a policy group which is just going to be a managed object that is going to detail all of the interface policies that I want to utilize. And what I'm going to do is the keyword here is aggregate. I'm going to aggregate those into a single object. And then what I can do is I can apply that object to actual interfaces. Now I'm moving from an interface policy to a policy group that aggregates interface policies. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to use an interface profile and it's going to be in the interface profile that I'm going to apply the policy group to select interfaces via what is some referred to as an interface selector. Now this configuration takes place in the graphical user interface under the fabric access policies interface policies sub section. Now what I want to do is I want to explore that particular component via the graphical user interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to move into the configuration of these components inside of our ACI configuration. I'm Terry Vincent and I'll see you guys in that video.